Now, earlier someone asked me whether uh, I thought that the Democrats would pick Michelle Obama to be (laughs) Joe Biden's running mate. Uh, This segment will show you why that will never in a million years happen. Here she is whining about the country because of Trump, claiming she's suffering from a low-grade depression. This is a woman who, along with her husband, now has a net worth of over $130 million. They just bought a 12-point, what was it, $5 million house in Martha's Vineyard. Their school, their kids are in excellent schools. They're both in great physical condition. Neither of them has coronavirus. And she's suffering from depression because of Donald Trump. And spiritually, these are not, they, they are not fulfilling times spiritually, you know. Um, so I, I know that I am dealing with uh, some form of low-grade depression, not just because of the quarantine, but because of the racial strife and just seeing this administration, watching the hypocrisy of it day in and day out is dispiriting. You know, I don't think I'm unusual in in that, but I'd be remiss to say that part of this depression is also a result of what we're seeing in terms of the protests, the continued racial unrest that has plagued this country since its birth. The continued racial unrest that has plagued this country since its birth. Wow. Did the racial unrest what take a break for eight years when uh, Obama was in office, or did you have the same amount of racial unrest? Just asking. I have to say that waking up to the news, waking up to how this administration has or has not responded, waking up to yet another uh, story of a black man or a black person somehow being dehumanized or hurt or killed or... Yet another story, one more time. More whites are killed by cops every year than blacks. It is true that blacks are two and a half times more likely than a white person to be killed by the police. It is also true that a young black person is anywhere from eight to ten times more likely to be a victim of a homicide. My goodness. And she goes on and says this. It's out in the ether. There'll be nobody on CNN to challenge this. Nobody on MSNB Heehaw to challenge this. Nobody in New York Times, LA Times, Chicago Tribune, and so forth and so forth. Falsely accused of something it is exhausting, and, oh. and, and it, it has led to a weight that I haven't felt in my life in, in a while. So- a, a weight I haven't felt in my life in a while. Now, remember, she's the one who said, for the first time in my life, I'm proud of America, when her husband was going to be nominated. And I guess now that her husband's no longer president, she's no longer proud of America. So for me, my spirit is, is lifted when I am feeling healthy when I am surrounded by good people, you know, so I, I reach out, I reach out to my family and to my friends. Uh, even in this time of quarantine, you know, I fought to continue to find a way to stay connected to the people in my life who bring me joy and my girlfriends, my husband, my, my kids. It's, it's, it's the small things. It's small, the small rituals. It's the small things that you enjoy, whether Trump is president or not, isn't it? Of the racial strife. You know that the percentage of people that thought we have good race relations or somewhat good race relations declined precipitously uh, during the latter part of her husband's term. Just say. Suffering from some sort of low grade depression. Is she being treated? Is she uh, in, in counseling? What, what, what does that even mean? Now let's talk about Joe Biden, the man that some people believe will pick her as VP. I don't. First, let's, uh, let's go to Ken. Ken is in Oakland, California, about Michelle Obama. Ken, you're on the Larry Oda Show. Thank you so much for calling. Yeah, Larry, I was, uh, you know, by the way, I'm waiting for your uh, movie. It should show up by Friday, according to FedEx, and I can't wait. Anyway, you know, you were just saying Michelle Obama is uh, depressed, or she's saying she's depressed because she turns on the news and and she sees what this administration's doing and all that. You know, if the news was telling the truth, she might not be so depressed. But with all the lies, <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> Michelle Obama, if you're listening, turn on the Larry Elder show. I will lift your mood. Now, let's talk about the man <laughs> that some people feel is going to pick her for VP. I'm not one of those who feels that way. I don't believe in a million years, as I said before, she has the attitude for politics. She's uh, not a happy, upbeat person to me, not, not generally. Uh, that doesn't sell. 